Tommy. You know what, I think this job really, really achieved that thing where at the end you don't have any answers. Yeah, absolutely. It was like, I don't know what I would do. You certainly don't feel like, especially as far as the scientists were concerned, they were just doing the job. And especially at the beginning, it was described as a different job to them. Yeah. And then once you got it going, can't stop it. Can't stop it. Because somebody else is going to do it if you don't. Yeah. I thought the most poignant moment, spoiler alert, was when Leo Slard was like, if the two bombs had been dropped on like Buffalo and Syracuse. When he said that little spiel, I was like, oh, this yeah. changes it. I mean, it doesn't change everything because I was already extremely conflicted. Right. Some... Some tough shit, y'all. I just think it's interesting, and they pointed out the absolutes um, that people espouse, like, um, what, I can't remember what Oppenheimer said, but he was like, people were saying this, and bear in mind, it was a, it was a year after that unsinkable ship sank. Mm. They were saying, oh, they were saying the atom could not be right. split, would never be split, and this was a year after. But his whole reasoning for why they should drop the bomb is that it would end all wars, another absolute. That obviously is not yeah, that's going to happen, that's cannot true. happen. It changed war, and it changed politics, and it changed um, life as we know it, which they uh, address in the mm. show. But that's, you can't work in absolutes. That's hilarious. I didn't really pick up on I that, just that he was right like... Now that he did that the, the whole point of starting the project was them being like as scientists there are no absolutes but then also <laughs> made an absolute yeah <laughs> we're gonna end all war you guys you failed bang up job totally fucking mission failed. accomplished <laughs> <laughs> mission accomplished Ugh. but then yeah mm -hmm. in the end you're right you go out of it being like i don't know man tough it's all Hindsight. We live in a world where it already happened, so can we really say that it shouldn't have happened? Tough questions. Tough questions, musicals. Thanks for the tough questions. Sometimes mm -hmm. you like a little razzle-dazzle, sometimes you like... Life truth. Life truth. Well, I certainly think they did a really good, good job of not glorifying in any, like... You know what I mean? They did... <laughs> They didn't glorify the scientists in morality. Oh, no, not at all. This, yeah. You know, conflict. Everybody was pretty ambiguous and just trying to do their job. I want to see a musical all about <laughs> Leona Woods. Because I realized she was I read up on her because I'm she's sure. a fascinating yeah. woman in her history. She was 23 when she joined that project. Isn't that amazing? 23. You go, physicist. girl. You go, girl. Or some kind, not astro. That doesn't make sense. Some kind of physicist. Science. <laughs> so, a scientist. <laughs> a lady She's scientist. A lady scientist. And she In went on to have like a a pretty insane career yeah. and prof was a professor and doctor. I don't know. She yeah. Smart shit. <laughs> yeah, I would see a musical about her. I would definitely. Absolutely. And played by Alexis Fishman. Oh, Please. Amazing. We loved Alexis. Yes. I really loved her. I thought she was absolutely fantastic. She was great. And I have to say, as someone who's from Australia, her Chicago accent was being on. Whoa. It was perfect. One of, she has one of my favorite lines in the entire show about her accent. Mm. That line was hilarious. It was pretty great. She's fantastic. Yeah. She can sing. Mm -hmm. She's a fantastic actress. Mm -hmm. More yeah. for her, please. Good in high-waisted shorts. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I needed better wigs for this show, you it's guys. It's a problem with the off-Broadway budget. Wigs are expensive. Each girl only got one wig, which I was fine with, but they they were not not nice. Jeremy Kushner. He's amazing. I can't believe this is the first thing I've seen him. I was going to say, I was like, this is the first time I've seen him perform, and what a pleasant surprise. He's fucking Amazing. fantastic. 
I mean, I had kind of high expectations just because of what I heard from. I definitely Jesus had high Christ expectations Superstar. because everyone is always raving about him all the time. Yeah. So, well done, sir. Oh, living amazing. up to those expectations that we put on you. Yeah. I think he had a hard role to play because mm. he at times had to be like the rock star, but also playing this like morally conflicted and kind of meek character. He wasn't in it for the. There's that contrast between him and Fermi. Like, Fermi was like, I want my name on a building. And he's like, I made this science happen. That's what I want, you know? But then at the same time, you're in a rock musical. So I thought he did a good job of managing those two sides of his performance. Yeah. It was great. Good sing. Mm. Yeah. You and Morton. Oh my God. Also, the first time I've seen him in anything. Yeah. Film. I love that voice he was using. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. Well, 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 well. <laughs> I smoke It made cigarettes. me want to. I wonder if any of those. Uh, Tapes are online. Yeah. Committee of Unethical. Mm. I don't know what it's called. Un American Activity. The Committee. Oppenheimer. Something, hearings. something, something. McCarthyism. Um, uh, if any of those are online, anyway, I would like to hear a if that's what he sounded like. But also, I'd like to hear some of that. If he was as though, sassy right? as he was in the musical, because he was pretty <laughs> he sassy. Broke out in song, I don't think. But <laughs> yeah, he was very sassy, which I enjoyed. Mm. Um, I thought it was an interesting framing device. Mm -hmm. that added another layer of the history to it. And also, it goes back to that same thing um, that happens in the end where the scientists are all sitting around and they're like, everyone fucking hates us. And they sort of have to justify what they were doing and what they thought they were doing. And in the end, they didn't have the final say in, right. in how their invention was used. Mm. And then it goes back to being that are they American heroes or are they war criminals or are they somewhere in between? <sighs> I don't know either. I mean, I don't think they're war criminals. Them, specifically. Mm. Maybe... Which was the president that, that just... Truman. Truman. Truman, you're a war criminal. How do you feel, can I ask you how you feel about how they handled that? Killing Japanese people? No. Oh, the, the Japanese people? The Japanese people. There were two white people in black wigs, but it was low lighting. They spoke Japanese, as far as I could tell, very, very well. Very well. Um, I mean, I give it a pass because it's off-Broadway and it's really low budget, obviously. A small, small cast. And there's no way, unless they wrote bigger parts for those people, like those those, if you hired two Japanese actors, you wouldn't be able to have them in any of the other right. scenes because all the other scenes are taking place in when America. they would have been in internment camps. Yeah. So like, there's no. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I was thinking that too. I felt the same way. I still, I was like a little. But uh, you know what? I the reason why I, I I was sort of like fine with it because I was happy that they were showing. Mm. That and I re and I like because it opens the show that I was like oh good they're actually they're not gonna gloss over yeah. dr actually dropping the bomb, mm -hmm. but because that scene when the bomb's being dropped goes from them in darkness like talking in Japanese to his like fantasy of killing them in s strobe light. Then you can see. Then you can see yeah. that they're, yeah. they're, hey, that's those white people that were yeah. in all the other scenes. Yeah. Then I thought it was less effective, but I did enjoy the slow motion acting. The slow motion was done the slow motion very acting. well. Very well. Really, really well. And also just that whole concept, I thought, from the way that I, the musical yeah. was being told, I thought it really worked. I liked it, but I did I feel conflicted mm -hmm. about the white people. Yeah, me too. I could pretty. just talk about Alexis Fishman for fucking ever. I hope she sticks around. Me too. I want to see her in all the things. All the things. 
And I also, it's just so nice to go to the show and be pleasantly surprised by the show and then also find someone to be mm. obsessed with. <laughs> <laughs> is that different for you though? Is that a different thing for you? It's special whenever it happens. That's true. Whenever I find Doesn't... someone new to, yeah. to yeah. fall in love with. Yeah. Mm. She's fucking awesome. Mm. Like, Estelle Parsons can come on to Cole House Walker the Third. You gotta get some <laughs> Asian people to be Cole House Walker the Third in this shit, guys. Yeah.